Richard Storbeck of NashvilleGuitarStore.com and what I'm going to talk about is choosing the right instrument for you, what feels comfortable. Now we obviously go for an instrument that has looks, has appeal to you and is says this is what this artist played and that's what I want to play and that's definitely a good way to start. It's an excellent way to start kind of think about it. The other thing to remember is every instrument that looks like this there might be 10 instruments that look exactly like this and all of them feel different. So, what makes an instrument comfortable? First off, does it sit comfortably in your lap? For me, I choose hollow bodies. It's just the instrument of choice that speaks well to me. It, they feel great when I play them and they sit well on my lap even when I'm standing and playing. Uh, Les Pauls are definitely great, but the bodies are too small for me and it just makes it very uncomfortable playing. You have to be comfortable while you play because if you're uncomfortable, your playing will suffer. Having said that, the other thing you need to keep in mind is how does the neck feel? Is it too fat? Is it too thin? Is it too wide? I mean, there's all these variables. So pick something that fits well in your hand. You're able to play all the notes. And you're not fighting the instrument. If you're fighting the instrument, once again, your playing will suffer. This particular instrument right here, I've had since 2006, and it's pretty much the only instrument I play, and aside from my 12 string. Uh, there are other instruments. This is a semi-hollow body, meaning that it's got a center block down the center. There is a little bit more sustain. There is not as much sustain in these as, let's say, a Les Paul, for example, uh, but that's the give and take of everything. If you want that ultimate sustain, you probably would want to get yourself something solid like a Les Paul or something like it. And with that in mind, you'll have that sustain. There's always give and takes with every single guitar. Having said that, there's also complete hollow bodies as well. So playing the same excerpt that I just played on my semi hollow body, here's what a full hollow body sounds like. Once again, this has no center block in it. It is completely hollow, just like an acoustic guitar. <laughs> more of a ooh sound to it and not necessarily a bad thing I would prefer a guitar like this too it's just got a different flavor and it's a different character uh, Gretsch's to me say monkeys all over it so it makes me want to play like something like Pleasant Valley Sunday <laughs> Whammy bars are a lot of fun, the Bigsby. Get that surfer thing going. And they play great distorted as well. Once again, I'm Richard Storbeck of NashvilleGuitarStore.com.